Hunky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! You know, all this doom and darkness, seriousness and nudity can take its toll on a fellow. It's been a while since I've reviewed an honest-to-goodness family movie. Let's rectify that with today's subject, I say. Released in 2002, Ice Age follows a group of prehistoric mammals on a quest to return a human baby to its family. But a pack of saber-toothed tigers have devious designs for the infant. This was the first of a franchise that has now spawned six movies, several shorts, and even two TV specials. So wrap up warmly because it's decidedly chilly in... Ice Age! Meet Sid. He's not too bright. And he's just annoyed the wrong rhinos. Lucky for him then, that a laconic mammoth intervenes. Sid's entire family left him behind when they decided to migrate. And why? Sid isn't too bright. He's kinda self-obsessed. And he talks and talks and talks. He could talk the hind legs off a rhinoceros, which is probably what he should have tried. <laughs> but what about Manny? Well, we'll get to his story a little bit later on. A much diminished pack of Smilodons plans its revenge on the humans that hunted them. But the real prize is the human cub. But shock! They survived! And so Sid and Manny are now guardians of the human cub. Because as soon as Junior is safe, Mother floats away, never to be seen again. I really hate Hollywood's parental sido tendencies. Right on, brother. Enter Diego, who's looking to save face with his pack. Diego offers his service to find the human tracks. Well, of course it's a total ploy. I mean, we all know it. You know it. I know it. Manny knows it. Diego certainly knows it. He came up with it. But hey, we probably don't have time to dwell on every plot point. We could probably dwell on a few. But for the moment, let's move on. But life with a human cub is, in itself, an adventure. Now, we're skipping some character moments here, and an entire sequence where the gang fight with a bunch of survivalist dodos for a watermelon. Fun fact! Dodos were actually incredibly trusting, and were actually made extinct in 1681. While Diego's immediate plans are thwarted, a chance meeting sets up a greater plan. And so, our quartet continue on through the snow. But Diego is a clever one. And his shortcut is not without danger. And in cave paintings, we discover Manny's pain. Okay, okay. There's no getting around it. There's no getting away from it. We must address the mammoth in the room. Manny was the last survivor of his family, most likely because his herd were wiped out by humans. And I know, yet again villainous humanity, but the tale, the sorry sorry tale of man's inhumanity towards flora, fauna, and his fellow man, is a tale of woe that we all must learn, so that we need never repeat it ever again. And so we near the end of our journey. But there's still an underground volcano to deal with. But there's still the little matter of Diego's old pack to deal with yet. Luckily, forewarned is forearmed. Ah, the old switcheroo. Classic ploy, that. Though you don't see it as much in the digital age. Last time I saw it was with a bunch of Navajo language documents. They were encrypted for a reason, though. 
and I think what they actually contain still might be classified. At least for another year or two. But pack leader Soto is in no mood to be denied. And so, Sid and Manny return the cub to the humans. But shock! Diego's alive! And so our movie ends as our reunited trio head off to new adventures. So that was Ice Age. And you know what? I'm gonna put this one into the House of Love. This is a family film, but is it a good one? Well, it's a little sappy. Two broken outcasts and a spy for a pack of saber-toothed tigers taking a human cub on what is essentially a road trip through Ice Age Tundra and bonding along the way. Certainly charmed whatever execs decided to greenlight this CGI flick, and the performances are what make this movie. Sid wouldn't be half the sloth he is without John Leguizamo's lateral lisp. Ray Romano is essentially Ray Romano but in mammoth form, and Dennis Leary's weary jerk saber-toothed tiger Diego is a spiky yet mostly amiable addition, though the animation does do most of the work for him, and we have to at least mention the coos and wails of a human cub, as voiced by Tara Strong. The flow of the movie is simple enough, outcast loser annoys some rhinos, ends up clinging to a loner mammoth, they happen upon a human tot, which by happenstance is the MacGuffin, that Diego's been ordered to collect, and instant odd squad and it's broken up with happenings and the occasional cutaway scrap gag, but it's coherent, and it all works well enough. On the music side, David Newman's score is definitely noticeable, above the workmanlike copycat mood musics of the modern era, it at least reflects the mood of the scenes in a more classic fashion, like for example a hectic piece for a sequence where our protagonists slide through an icy cave. If I had to pick a flaw, I would point out that the low slapstick of Scrat and his acorn might not be to everyone's tastes, even as I myself laughed at the poor proto-squirrel's misfortunes. But the CG animation is top quality, Blue Sky Studios bringing us fantastic fur work for 2002. So yeah, it is more than a forgettable kiddie quieter, even at 81 minutes. The characters are lovable, the affection is real, though the comedy is mostly quite low. And even though I'm not really a fan of road movies, I think that we've overlooked a lot of what makes this franchise so special, because at its core, Ice Age is the story of a bunch of loners and outcasts becoming, if not family, then at least friends. And that's something that the world needs. Maybe I'll get around to the other Ice Age movies at some point. No promises though. So if you liked this episode, why not consider subscribing? and ringing the notification bell for extra secret updates. And if you want to be extra awesome, or if you want to request a review of any of the other Ice Age movies, check out my Patreon, linked below. But for now, I've been Funky Monkey wishing you good days and great entertainment. So long, folks! <laughs>